Today we're talking about America's hottest new unhealthcare export, this monstrosity. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Vehicle Agnostic Modular Palletized ISR Rocket Equipment, AKA the Vampire. I'm gonna keep deadpanning like that didn't take me 35 tries. Really though, if you're gonna make an acronym that long, it needs to at least be funny. That acronym kinda sucked. <laughs> Sucked, vampire, moving on. Okay, so what is it? It is literally a DIY kit that shows up on a pallet, and according to the brochure, two men in two hours can install it on any pickup truck, giving them what amounts to a miniature version of HIMARS. And as of August 22nd, 2022, America is gonna start exporting these to countries that are allies or entities that have America's interest in mind? or something like that. Okay, basically America's been sending out a lot of Javelin and Stinger missiles lately, and those are really expensive, so we made this as a cheaper alternative, and I'm not gonna lie, it's way fucking cooler. I mean, look at this thing. It looks like they gave Exhibit a DOD contract for the deadliest episode of Pimp My Ride. He found out the DOD liked guns, and he put the entire Second Amendment in the bed of their pickup. I mean, first of all, let's just address the elephant in the room. I keep saying any pickup truck. We all know I'm talking about Toyota. Even they know that. Look at the brochure picture. That is the official truck of Guerrilla Warfare right there. Their motto is, let's go places, those places are wherever the front line takes us. So how much firepower did we really just cram into the bed of a Tacoma? I mean, how spicy is Toyotathon really gonna get? These are the important questions. Well, this thing can shoot four Hydra 70 rockets. Now, the reason they chose Hydra 70 rockets is because they're probably the cheapest munition that America uses. The downside of that being they're considered a dumb munition because you can't actually guide them. It's kind of a yeet and pray type situation when you fire a Hydra rocket. However, the Hydra rockets being used with the Vampire system are gonna be equipped with a retrofit guidance module, which is gonna allow the rockets to be laser guided from the little periscope right here. So for the rocket and the retrofit guidance module that goes on the rocket, you're looking at $22,000 per shot, which I think we can all agree is a lot of money, but when you're comparing it to the Javelin, which is over $200,000, thousand dollars per shot it's significantly cheaper i mean for the same price who would you rather be these two guys walking around on foot with their two hundred thousand dollar bazooka like they're spicy pilgrims or this absolute chad that just gets to pull up to the side of the battlefield throw up his periscope launch four missiles and take back off all without even getting out of the air conditioning of the cab because he can do it from the computer and the dash not only is it going to be more convenient for the operator it's also going to be more versatile because the vampire system will be able to engage enemies on the ground and in the air one of the primary reasons for the vampire system being invented is actually to take out enemy UAVs. Bah! That's just like the military. So dumb. Shooting a $22,000 rocket at a $2,000 drone. Bah. You know, that's actually a great point if you don't think about it like at all. Hear me out. It's not about taking out the enemy UAV for the sake of taking out the enemy UAV. It's about taking out the enemy UAV before they can tell the enemy where your troops and where your equipment are. Because if you start taking accurate artillery fire, it's going to cost you a lot more than 22 grand and probably get a lot of people killed. In conclusion, I'm sure we're going to start seeing these in the news a lot more. And it's probably only a matter of time until some crazy motherfucker from Texas or Florida acquires one of these, mounts it on the back of their El Camino, and then uses it to go hunt hogs or iguanas. And that's the news article I'm looking forward to the most. Thank you for watching. Best way to support the channel is go buy yourself some merch at thefatelectrician.com. We got new shirts every month. Quack bang, out.